have one common goal, to share our story of inspiration and passion. It took one person to believe in the potential these kids possess to capture the essence. All dreams are possible. This vision has led us down the path to our purpose. I didn't really have like a huge childhood. I didn't really have that many friends. I was really shy. Things were not so easy with me and my family. We were moving around a lot. Once my dad passed away, like it was like a realization that like things aren't gonna be picture perfect. In 2009, my parents got divorced. I was just kind of going through the motions. I think I was kind of lost, to be honest. I really felt like I was lost. I was just kind of existing. I didn't have many friends. Growing up in Atlantic City was tough. I was going through some pretty hard stuff, dealing with depression, which all stemmed from bullying and stuff before that. I was severely bullied, actually. I was just there. Like, I didn't feel like I had a meaning or I feel like I didn't have anything to do. Living in Atlantic City, it was tough. At the young age that I was, drugs was a problem. I really struggled, like, finding myself, who I am alone. I kind of realized that not everybody in my life would be there for me. You know, the fact that I'm a lesbian, it had to do a lot with hatred and words that were thrown at me. I left the school that I was going to because it got so bad for me. I was basically just another high school kid, and I had no idea what I was going to do with my life. I was kind of just like floating floating through in life. I didn't really have any sense of uh, direction in my life. Already not really knowing who I am, it was hard to fit in. I felt like it wasn't me. I wasn't able to express myself. I wasn't able to be myself. Kind of felt lost, especially without my dad around. I would say Dorado would probably be the first influence just because she was the first one to recognize that there was something in me that I, I didn't know, that I had talent. When she came into that classroom and, you know, a lot of other students raised their hand, but somehow, for some reason, she chose me. I needed someone not to give up on me because I was ready to give up on myself. She saw something in me that nobody else saw. She was very, very helpful in influencing my passion for media and my career that I want to pursue. She believes in me. I love her and care for her so much. Like she's always been there with me through everything. Mr. Otto especially have influenced me more than I could ever imagine. From day one, she just was always there and nobody told her that she had to be and that was the best part. It means a lot to have someone never give up on you, even when you're doubting yourself. And she still will have no idea how much that meant for me. Not only is she like loving and like looking out for me, but she's also pushing me to my very best. She's pushing me to my limits to make me work harder and for me to get better at what I do. And I appreciate that so much. My name is Kristen Dorado. The first student that I ever worked with was Shana Kane. And Shana had talent beyond what I ever thought a high school student would have. She had something in her editing ability that really connected. She just kind of just took me under her wing and just to help me develop my skills. It was through the years that more and more students were 
to cross my path. And when they crossed my path, they became part of my family. And each one of them brought something different to the table. It's, it's incredible when someone can make you feel like you have a purpose. How I chose them really was just looking at them, looking in their eyes. And when I could see in their eyes that they, they had a story, those are the ones I wanted to work with. I wanted to see if maybe they could find their voice through the art of filmmaking. She was a major influence and learned so much from her. She pretty much took me in from like, not having any sense of direction in my life and then she gave me a sense of direction. When Dorado gave us that opportunity to, or gave me the opportunity to work in, in the studio, that's all it took was that chance to, to do something like that. And <laughs> I don't know, she just changed my life. She is the mom of the media family. If it wasn't for her, I would not know what I wanted to do with my life. And I would not feel like I would have a talent. And I would be lacking in a whole entire family of truly amazing people who um, share a similar passion. The passion that is ignited in all of these students is the art of filmmaking. They really connect to telling a story. You already have a connection because you love making films. You love, you all have a, a love of this. Media really did save me. It was exactly what I needed. I needed something to, to work for, something to be able to prove. Media changed my life. When I started to see that each one of them had a different talent, it started to like form this vision in my head. What if we started to put all of them together and started to create together? You find these people who have all these different stories. It really opened me up to be able to not like not hide and let me express myself and grow like in a really safe place. My passion just completely shifted into media. It made me believe in myself. Maybe believe that you know maybe I I can go down this route. I can changed my way. Media and editing was something I was good at and being able to get excited over over that every day was was something that told me this could be something I could do for the rest of my life. The sense of passion, a sense of uh, drive and excitement. To have my own style, my own like identity and voice, it really means a lot. It was hands down one of the best decisions of my life to get involved with it. The road to success is always under construction. That is the best way I can describe my journey through media. I wanted to show them not to be scared. Dreaming about it is one thing, which when you're going through that hard stuff, all you have really is your dreams. And we're working for all of our dreams because we all have that same passion for media. Everybody has their own uh, vision, their own technique, their own talents, and it's great. <laughs> I gave them the chance to believe in themselves. I wanted them to believe in what their talents were because it just seemed like a lot of them didn't. They felt that they didn't have a purpose. I can't express words how much the media family means to me. The media family is a group of people that I can literally always count on. They're talented and they're passionate and they're always there when you need them to be. You can't understand the connection we all have unless you're in the room with us. When we get together, it's like we're family. A group of wonderful people that you can't get away from because you always want to be around them. Just knowing that I have those people in my life is probably the best support system you know I, I could ever ask for. They mean everything. They're always there. They all start to form a family bond, and that bond is with them for years to come. I just felt very safe and comfortable, you know. 
the media family symbolizes hope in a sense. The room is filled with energy and love. And with that, it helps each, each and every one of us to, to fulfill our passion. Everybody there has the same passion and shares the same dream that you do. So it's, it's so exciting whenever we think of a, new ideas and new videos. The media family is very comforting. I really, I can say I love all of them. They're all great and amazing and made me feel perfectly at home when I joined media. These students are like my kids. I can't say enough as to how they fulfill my life. It's love, it's consolidation, it's a family, and I couldn't ask for anything more. I don't know if I can replace the connections I made here. The media family is like a brain. You can't survive without your brain. I can't survive without my family. I can't explain what joy it brings me to see them all happy. I love working with all of them because they're kind of like my second family. I've known them for years now and I can't imagine not knowing them at this point. At the end of it all, you all have the same goal. Like we all want to do something in media and we all want to help each other reach that goal. No matter where you go, you come home and they're still gonna be there for you like you never left at all. Like they're gonna welcome you with open arms and warm smiles. We're comfortable with each other that we can open up about a lot of things and it's great. <laughs> it definitely is a family. I'm Alexa Siri. Kelly Kyle. Elizabeth Thornton. Aquia Mafojo. Tina Nataro. Jeff Croft. Caitlin Schofel. Lisa Castro. Sean McGovern. Angie Ramirez. Brian Ferry. It's Veronica Nataro. It's Tyler Rosenberg. Shana Keane. Kay Cortez. My name's Andrew, how are you? It's an accomplishment that they probably didn't think that they had themselves. For me, knowing that there's no end point is what keeps me driving more and more. It gives them hope. It makes them smile. Like, they just smile when they think about filmmaking. Everything that we do, it's so exciting and it's fun. It doesn't feel like a, a job or a career or anything like that. It's, it's something that I enjoy doing. I'm actually good at it. Like, I understand the meaning of this all a new spark, like I was alive again. We'll all get excited about the same things and kind of feed off of each other and it, I think it's great. Everybody has their own talents and I want to be able to work with everybody to, to create something. It gives everyone a purpose. I just, I can't imagine waking up and doing anything else with my life, like having a different purpose. Create something that can get the feelings that I'm, I have inside me and just kind of push it onto others. And I, I just kind of want it to spread because I feel inspired and I feel like I have a purpose finally. I can't picture my life without, without it. The video is not on the side for me. Video is like that is my life and I must do it. I, I, I just have, I have to edit um, no matter what. Everything that's in my head that I feel like I can give back to the world and make something beautiful out of it, I, I want to be able to do that. To be able to work with all these amazing people, making and working on projects that the world can see, it would be everything. Putting each of the talents together was going to create magic somehow. Have us all come back together and work together again would be absolutely unreal. Like, there's no other way to describe that besides a dream come true. Like, that would be perfect. I believe in these kids so much. I want them to realize that if they close their eyes and they can visualize it and see it, that all they have to do is open their eyes and make it a reality. Together, we can be unbeatable. I mean, we can really do this. We see things, we conceptualize things, we create things, we, you know, imagine things in our head. And I can, I can say this matter of fact, you know, I go to sleep at night and sometimes when I can't go to sleep, some people count sheep. I imagine artists like studios. We just want a place where we feel 
at home. It's to be a part of something that could do so much good for so many other people as well. I would close my eyes at night and I would envision getting up in the morning with my cup of coffee and walking into studios. And when I opened the doors to those studios, the entire media family that I've created was working together. Between all these people and Ms. Gerardo, it's a really powerful team. And I think the things that we could do together in the coming years are probably beyond my imagination at this point. We genuinely care and are interested. The people who are involved are people who want to do these things with the rest of their lives. To begin Artists Alike Studios would mean the world to me. It mean everything to me. Quite literally a dream come true. More than happy, it would be everything. My biggest dream. Artists Alike Studios is my dream, not only for myself, but for my kids literally be such an honor. It would be a dream. It's a real blessing. It would mean everything. It would mean, it would just mean the world to me. We want to be creating. We want to be making movies. We want to have a space that we can call home, that we can walk in and say, this is our home, and have that family feeling while we're working. I know for a fact that with the people that we're working with, there is no doubt in my mind that we can't do this and make it. Artists Alike Studios is something so much bigger than what any of us had anticipated for us to become or to be a part of. And becoming a part of it is like, it's like welcome home. Like, this is where you belong. Thank you so much. <laughs> Our journey was paved through the lens of a camera. We now have an aspiration to share with others the passion that lives within our souls. The ability to dream, to believe, to connect with those around us. Our story is one of inspiration. Our journey is that of infinite possibilities.